Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Ephesians chapter 6 verse number 18. The Bible said, Praying at all times in the spirit with all your prayer and supplications. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with the all perseverance and supplication for all saints. He said, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit. Pray in the spirit always means pray, always pray in tongues. He said, always pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Pray in the spirit means to always pray. In the spirit means pray in tongues. Because it's a spirit language. Hallelujah. So it is important to receive this gift of tongues. I told you before that it is a gift from God. Is it important to pray in tongues? Yes, it is important because the Bible recommended it that we should all we should pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. All prayers and supplication in tongues. That's why the Bible said, pray in the spirit and also pray with the understanding. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 17. Galatians 5, 17. The Bible said, For the flesh lost, lost against the spirit, and the spirit lost against the flesh. These are contrary, they want to another, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would do. The spirit hates the flesh, and the flesh hates the spirit. So because of this uh, uh, phenomenon in, in, the, in, the, in the humor, what you ought to do, you find yourself not able to do it. Because the spirit is against the flesh and the flesh is against the spirit. The desire of the spirit is different from the desire of the flesh. Remember from the day one, you are a spirit. That's why you have to pray in the spirit always. It is the spirit God said have dominion over the sea, over the beast of the earth. Subdue the earth and replenish the earth. It was God prophecy to the spirit. Not the flesh. This is why you have to reign in the spirit more than reigning in the flesh. To be carnally minded. Dead. To be spiritually minded is life everlasting listen carefully this passage Galatians chapter 5 verse 17 said for the flesh lost against the spirit and the spirit against the, the flesh and these are contrary to one to other so that ye cannot do the things ye would do and the two is in a man This is why in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. The Spirit of the Lord know what is in the mind of God. When you pray in tongues, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, it says, For what man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of a man which is in a him, which is in him. Even so, the things of God know no man but the Spirit of God. So only the spirit of a man know what is in the mind of a man. So nobody know what is the mind of God. Only the spirit of God know what is in the mind of God. And the Holy Spirit you receive is the spirit of God. And he knows the mind of God. So when you pray, the spirit of God is the one that is praying. Am I talking to somebody? He <laughs> said the spirit of God knoweth what is in the mind of God. Just as 
the spirit of man know what is in the mind of man. When you pray in tongues, the Holy Ghost, the spirit, the Holy Spirit of God in you is the one praying and he knows the mind of God. That is why to receive the Holy Ghost, you must die to self. You must die to self. You must be born again. You must receive him wholeheartedly. You must receive the word of God. Whole, that is wholeheartedly, fully. In First John chapter four, verse First John chapter five, verse fourteen, we are talking about how important is the praying is praying in tongues. First John five fourteen, and this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He yields. <laughs> if we ask anything, listen, Jerry, dear man. It is not only when you pray, pray with the scripture. You pray according to the will of God. When you pray in tongues, the Holy Ghost in you know what is the will of God. But your own understanding is unfruitful. When you pray, Rahima Rondo Yobo Sika Bahada Yadada. And you are now saying what you are, what you said in tongues. If you are not led by the Holy Ghost to interpret and you said wrong, you miss everything. Listen, praying tongues doesn't mean, listen, for example, I am going there. You know, it means I am going there. Now, it is not so. You cannot know what you are saying. You don't, your understanding is unfruitful. But in some occasion, God can give somebody a gift to interpret what you say. And in some cases, He can give you the spirit to interpret. But on a very rare occasion. But it's because a, a, to interpret is a gift also. But whenever you pray in tongues, you are communicating with God. When you pray in tongues, you are communicating with God. Talking to God directly. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. As we have said, if we pray according to his will, he hears us. The Holy Ghost of God in you will intercede for you according to God's will. You see, when you pray, your own understanding, you don't know what you said. Nobody knows what you said. But the spirit that pray talk to God. Sometimes that prayer is saving one of the members of your family. Sometimes it's just arranging your business. Sometimes a neighbor closer to you in the nearby house that is about to burn. Your prayer is just delivering that woman to, it's just making her to deliver safely. Sometimes you pray, your, when you pray in tongues, it, it has different dimensions. It doesn't mean when you pray, it edifies you alone. This is why it is good to always to receive the gifts if you have not. So that you can begin to talk to God. He's talking to God directly. So, you know, when, when, when someone receives the gift of the Holy Ghost, so you now have two languages to talk to God. Your original language and the gift of the, that language, the tongue of fire you receive. So you now have the capability, the ability to pray in under, with understanding and pray with the understanding of fruitful. But with that understanding of fruitful, it's more powerful. Die to self. In Romans 8 27, when you pray in tongues, the spirit intercedes for the saint according to the will of God because he knows the will of God. 
And he that searches the heart know what is in the mind of the spirit. Because he make intercession for the saints according to the will of God. He intercession, that is, he pray for the saints according to the will of God. So when you pray in tongues, if actually you really receive the gift and you have never polluted your body, and your body is really the temple of God, when you pray in tongues, is praying according to God's will. My talk is somebody. If you believe, say amen. amen. If really you receive the gift and it's not yet polluted, when you pray in tongues, you are coming. Is is God is praying? Is interceding? Praying for you. The spirit intercedes for the saint according to the will of God. That is what he said, Romans 8.27. It means he pray according to the will of God. You know when you pray with understanding, sometimes the, cry, the tears that come out from your eye, it's not the, cry, it's not the tears of you love God. It's the tears of the pain you are passing through. In a way, you now begin to make mention of what your eyes see. You see? <laughs> Praise the Lord. But when you pray in tongues, the spirit of the Holy, the Holy Ghost in you, we intercede for you. We speak out from you. We groan is that no man can utter. But all is according to the will of God. But when you are praying, sometimes do you, sometimes, do you know that? We are not moved by what we see. Hallelujah. We are not moved by what we hear. Hallelujah. When a dog is possessed in the house and you kill the dog, because of the way the dog back. Ooh, you will say the dog is already possessed. I have to kill this dog before he kill me. But the power in that dog, if he enter the flower in front of your house, would you know? This is what the Bible says. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood. But against principalities and power. Against, rulers of, against the rulers of darkness in the highest places. If you, sometimes that dog that is barking is just an otter from the great great grandfather that possessed that dog as a monitoring spirit in the house. You'll be thinking that they have the neighbors have possessed the dog. When you kill the dog, the power from the great grandfather enter the flower in the compound, and you are watering the flower every day. What will you do? You are moving with the flesh. Sometimes you get to your knees and kneel down. Baba, please kill this dog for me. I know that the dog is a witchcraft. Are you praying according to the will of God like that? No. When you pray in tongues, the God knows where the root of that problem is. It will chase that force away. But to pray effectively in the Holy Ghost is not five minutes. When you start a vehicle, when you start a trailer, you warm it. You know, you warm it. After 30 minutes, the salvo will fill up. You hear a sound. It means all the back tires, the, the, the canal, the cylinders, all is free. They cannot move. The air of the brick is now loose and it can it can hold effectively. It cannot move. But if you just start it five minutes and you want to move and you warm it five minutes, the tire can never move. So when you are praying in tongues, you at least 30 minutes. Make sure it's not just hurry. Before your five minutes will work, you must you might have been a giant. A, a giant walking with God a giant as a giant walking with God not working for God walking with God 
In Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11 to 12. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11 to 12. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to the people. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to the people. To whom he said, This is the rest where with ye may cause the weary to rest. Speaking tongues make the weary to rest. Where are you wearing in your, in your territory, in your body, in your surrounding, in your business? Speaking in tongues will cause you to rest. It will bring peace back to you again. Do you get it? He said, This is where the rest where with ye may cause the wearing to rest. And this is the refreshing. Yet they would not hear. They would not understand. They would not hear. Because who, can, who didn't hear cannot understand. Speaking tongues. Make the hopeless to be hopeful. Make the stressful to be stressless. Make the sick to be healed. Make the fear, fearful to be peaceful and joyful. It make the weary to come to a state of rest. Stammer release. Speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord. It make the dead organs to come back to life again. In Romans 8.26 The importance of praying in tongues. Romans 8.26 Likewise the spirit also help our infirmity for we not know what we should pray for as we ought but the Spirit Himself make intercession for us with groanings which, which cannot be uttered. With our natural mind, with our own understanding, we don't know what we ought to pray as we ought to. Because we pray with senses. He said, But likewise, the Spirit also help our infirmity, for we know not what we ought to pray for, uh, for as we ought to. But the Spirit Himself. Make it as easier for us with groanings which cannot be uttered according to the will of God. So sometimes you want to pray, you are confused. You will say, Father, release me from this error. Mention the place where you are confused. Mention the pain you have. Father, go through this situation and heal it. Then you start praying in tongues. You see the Holy Ghost working it out. Father, help me to pray for this. He said, He said it, 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 it is a seed for us. He help us to pray. If we are to pray with understanding, we cannot pray as we ought to. Because only the Spirit knows the mind of God. So the Spirit of God you receive inside of you. We pray according to the will of God. He will make it essential for you. We groan is that nobody can utter, but according to the will of God. So sometimes when you are to pray, you will say, Holy Spirit, hear this by my rheumatism. If you have rheumatism. Then you start praying. Pray for 30 minutes. If he refuses to go, pray again. Pray again. For, for a little while, you will see you sleep one day. You will find the rheumatism again. You can give him a mandate. He said, because he prayed for us. So you can give him an assignment. Help me pray for this. But you pray. God just wants our cooperation. You just open your mouth and let him pray through you. In Jude chapter 1 verse 20 to 21. Jude is only one chapter. Jude chapter 1 verse 20 to 21. And they gave Hebron. Jude. Jude. Building up yourselves. On your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Keeping yourself. In the love of God. Looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. But ye beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost, build up yourself. He build you up. He build you up. 
in which area are you are you destroyed in which area there is an error there is weariness in you though praying the Holy Ghost build you up he keep you in the love of God the love of God is a perfect love he said he keep you keeping you he said keeping yourself in the love of God and the love of God perfect love of God cast out fear so when you pray in tongues that thing that makes you to fear peace will, and joy will come to your soul again when you pray in tongues he said because he keep you in the love of God looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ it not keep you in the track of mercy three things is there it built you up it keep you in the love of God it take you to the track of mercy pray in tongues First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 4. The Bible says, He that speak in unknown tongues edifies himself. He that speaketh in unknown tongues, in an unknown tongues, edify himself. But he that prophesy edify the church. When you pray in tongues, because nobody, you are, it's a direct communication to God. Nobody hear you. No witchcraft hear you. No principalities and power hear you. When you pray in tongues, you are building your, yourself. You are putting yourself in order according to the will of God. But he that prophesy, when you prophesy, you are defying the church. You tell this man, do this and your business will prosper. When he do it and his business prosper, you are defying the people. You are making the people to to blossom in grace. But when you pray in tongues, you are building up yourself. Building everything surrounding you, your family. You get it? Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. He said, he that speaketh in an unknown tongues, edify himself. Edifies in the Greek means oikodomeo. Oikodomeo. Oikodomeo in the Greek word. It means to restore by building. We are talking about edifice. Forget the Greek word now. Let's go to the real meaning. Because it is the Greek word you can know the real meaning so that you can define it to your people. So edification, to edify is talking about it means to it means oikodomeo, it means to restore by building. When you are praying in tongues, you are restoring back the you no know, the, the, the doors the enemy have the, the enemy have opened for you, you are closing it back, you are restoring it. You are restoring it according to as it was, according to how God did it before. If there's any door the enemy have opened that they are not supposed to open, you are closing it back as God have did it before. That is restoration. He said to restore, he said edifies means to restore by building, to rebuild, to repair, to repair, to build us. He said to, to, to build a house, to erect a building. That is edifice or ecodomel. You, you repair your body. You repair your situation. You put your situation in order. You put your life as it's supposed to be. With praying in tongues. Because it's the will of God concerning you. When you pray in tongues, you are not the one praying. It is the Lord that is praying. Say, I hear you. You see it. So when you pray in tongues... The Holy Ghost in you is the one praying. The Spirit of God is called the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God in you is the one praying, not you that is praying. So when he pray, he will make intercession for you according to the will of God. Praise the Lord. It means any organ in the body can be restored when damaged by praying in tongues. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. There was a man who was afraid of the macular degeneration. It's a macular degeneration is an eye problem whereby there is a hole, enlargement of the hole in the macula. In the eye. 
the macula is at the back of the eye. There was a hole, a big hole inside. They said they are going to do surgery. And this man was afraid, afraid of her operation. It has to go to God by praying in tongues. One, one hour. One, one hour. For about two months, the eye problem vanished. The eye problem vanished. When you see before, you see a stunted image. When you see a pole, the pole, only doctors will understand what I'm saying. In, when someone has a macular degeneration, when you see electric pole, it, it, it is straight like this. You let it go like this, it is straight like this. Sometimes you see somebody cut into two. Somebody cut into two because of the eye, macular degeneration. Impairedness in the eye. But after praying tongues for one, one hour, almost two months, the eye problem vanished. The macula was restored. It, 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 it re praying tongues repair, it rebuilt, it built. It is imperative you receive this gift by dying to self. Total immersion in the word of God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Be strong in the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. The Bible says be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. He said finally my brethren. Be strong in the Lord. He never said be strong. He said he never strong be strong. He never, strong, he never said be strong in yourself. He never said be strong in your might. He said be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Not be strong in yourself. Why are you wearing yourself? Why do you want to figure out the things you cannot figure? Why can't you take it to God in prayers? Not in yourself, but in the Lord. Not in your might, but in the might of the Lord. When you pray in tongues, you are rest when you are, you are resting in the in the lord strength resting in the lord peace resting in the lord love resting in the love of god when you pray in tongues you are resting in the strength of god because he is the one that is praying sometimes it look like the, the situation is getting worse but the lord have hold the boom by the by the by the horn at the end you will be victorious when you are praying tongues, you are resting in the Lord's strength. You are resting in the peace of the Lord. You are resting in the joy and the love of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2, He who pray in tongues speak to, speak to God. No one understand him. He himself, his understanding is unfruitful. He never understand what he said. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2, He said, He that speak and no tongues, he says, speak it to God, speak it to God. No one understand him. For he that speak in an honor tongues, speak not unto men, but unto God. For no man understand him. However, in the spirit he speak mysteries. When you are praying in tongues, some evil friends staying with you. When you are telling them, Father, please, when you are praying some prayer, a secret life prayer. And you don't know that they are his evil friend. Or somebody that just spying you, try to poke nose, knowing what busy body. Father, please let this thing never happen to me again. You mentioned the thing that you, are, you, don't, you don't want it to happen to you again. He collects it by understanding. That thing you pray about, you will hear it aside tomorrow. But when you Rahima Rondo, you Bosika ba 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 ba, rekete ya ba zondo ni brade, keyenda ya dada. It's a form of deception. They cannot understand your prayer. There was a there was a time I came here to pray. This this bead was about to a bead enter. I don't know where it came from. Very big, trying to deceive, me, trying to no distract me. I start praying in tongues. When I was praying in the in the in, the, in, in with understanding, boom, 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 your pastor, boom, boom. I was inside the church alone. Now I have to. I said, "What is this?" A voice came to me, said, "Change your prayer." 
I say Rahima Rondo Yaka Sika Bahaba Daya Rakata Tata Rekete Gebabu Yaba Baba. It's like they heard the only baby he does. What is he saying? <laughs> After 30 minutes, eh? I said, Let me see if <laughs> if he has gone. I hear him again start again. I said, Okay, you will not hear what I'm talking about today. I said, Rahima Rondo Yaba Sakalibra. When I started again, I, the atmosphere was tranquil again was calm again that is how I, 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 I continue and finish the prayer he silent the powers of the enemy praise the Lord when you pray in tongues nobody know what you you don't all understand this unfruitful nobody can say he pray like this I, 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 ah. father please arrange, the, arrange my marriage let my marriage not scatter he will say okay they are quarreling they are quarreling they are quarreling. He will go and tell Philo that they are quarreling. Please, Philo, sorry. Philo, please don't be offended. I'm just you know, trying to explain something. Hallelujah. No one close to him we say I hear him praying about this or that. That is praying the Holy Ghost for you. Don't imitate anybody how they pray. Because the tongue someone used today, he might not use it again for five months. And when he use it five months time, it may not be the same. So when someone speak in tongues, when someone speak in tongues, and you imitate him, you may be destroying yourself. Because that your own is not of the spirit. It's of the flesh. You copy it from the flesh. For example, the song we compose here, I am fearless. I got the Holy Ghost. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are created by God. We have a Father called Abba Father. So call him Jehovah Rapha. So call him Adonai. So call him Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah! 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 His kingdom has no Thank you very much, spiritual voice. Now, if you get home because you love the song, because it's inspiring, then the, the way that the, the composer was singing, or the actress, or the actor, or the, the musical actress, an actress that sang the song or the man of God, you will go and be, be, be after singing the song, you will, be, you will still be saying, Nerekete, Nerekete, Shula Gode, Shule Lala. Then, because you copy it fleshly, you will be injured. You may be insulting yourself. You can be saying, Your finance is closed, your finance is closed without you even knowing. Am I talking? God forbid. Let it be born from God. Say, I hear you. This is all I have for you from now. May God bless you. Hallelujah.